Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to talk about the brand new Illustrator update for Creative Cloud members. That's right, if you're a Creative Cloud member and you subscribed to the either Illustrator as a point product or you got the entire um, uh, collection as your subscription, you have the ability now to do an update to Illustrator that will give you some new features. So that's the benefit of being a Creative Cloud member is that you don't have to wait for the next major version to get these new features. Let's take a look. So I'm in Adobe Illustrator. I've already done my update. And by the way, you can do that from the, up, from the Applications Manager or just go to Help and choose Updates. And if you're, again, a Creative Cloud member, um, your update will show up as of today. So I'm in Illustrator, I have a document open, it's got multiple artboards, and the first thing and probably the biggest thing that people have been asking for for years and years and years is the ability to package your Illustrator documents. In other words, to um, collect not only the Illustrator document, but all the linked files and fonts so that you could hand it to a service provider or hand it to a colleague and they would be able to open up the file and have everything they need without you having to manually go around and find those things and put them in a folder. So the first thing we can do is just simply go up to file and we have the brand new package command, just like in Adobe InDesign. We can choose package and we can choose the location. It will normally default to the same location as the document, but I chose my desktop folder. It will um, give it the same name as the document as for the folder. Uh, of course, with underscore folder. And here's what it will copy by default. So it will copy the links, copy them in a separate folder. It will relink to that document in that folder. It will copy all your fonts except uh, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. And it will create a report so that you got a text file of what's in that uh, package. So we'll just do a package. You get the little font warning as we normally show you uh, so, so that you're not um, illegally giving away fonts. Let's click OK, and that's it, it's done. So the package has been created successfully. Um, I can show, show the package contents or just click OK, and if I never wanna see that message again, I can just say don't show again. But I'm gonna go ahead and say show the package. And here's the folder that it created with uh, the document, the links. So there were four images uh, in that file that I didn't even know. And there are the fonts that were used to create this file that are necessary to print it, including the text report of everything that was included. So packaging, finally in Illustrator, one of the most requested features for a long time. Now let's go back to Illustrator and take a look at, since we're talking about packaging and links, let's go to our links panel because we have some uh, great new enhancements there. First of all, the links panel itself got some enhancements. So if I could just, for example, double click on a link, I get a lot more information about that particular linked file. Also, if I were to um, perhaps go to that link, uh, I will now be able to uh, get to that or get some of that information right here in the control panel. So it's letting me know uh, which file that is, uh, what uh, resolution it is, what format it's in. So it's an RGB. So if I'm printing CMYK, that might be an issue. And it's a linked file. Now, uh, why do we tell you it's a linked file? Because now the third thing is you have the ability to, you had the ability to embed links. Now in uh, this new update, you have the ability to unembed your links as well. So for example, let's say that I want to embed this uh, photo so that it doesn't require me to uh, send it separately. So I can go ahead and just go to the flyout menu. I can choose embed image. And uh, it is now embedded, so no, it no longer says uh, linked in the upper left corner. It is now a part of the Illustrator file. So even when I package it, that will no longer be separate because it's actually burned into the file. Now, of course, I can move it around, delete it, resize it, do everything Illustrator can do. But sometimes, for example, you might send this to a service provider and they'll say, oh my God, this is RGB. I need to open it in Photoshop and convert it to CMYK. But in the past, it was embedded they would have no way to actually get to a file that they could in fact open in Photoshop and um, make the color conversion. So now uh, in this update, you have the ability, just like in InDesign, to unembed. And when you do that, it will either create uh, your choice, either a Photoshop file or a TIFF file 
wherever you tell it to do it. And then that file will then, of course, be a separate file that will be relinked back to the document that you could now use for, um, for editing purposes outside of Illustrator. So now that I've done that, it is now linked to that PSD that I just put out on the desktop, and it is now a linked file again. So as you can see, some very important updates, some nice updates for Illustrator users that don't have to wait for the next major version of Illustrator if you're on Creative Cloud. If you're not on Creative Cloud, you will have to wait till the next paid version of this to get the updates as you always did. So thanks again for watching this episode. My name is Terry White, and we'll catch you next time.